The inverse variation. Y varies inversely as x. In symbol, y is equal to k over x, or xy is equal to k. One example that involves inverse variation is about time and speed. Let's say, a vehicle travels a distance at a speed of 60 km per hour. If a vehicle runs for 2 hours at the same distance, the speed is 30 km per hour. For 3 hours time, the speed needs to be 20 km per hour. And for 4 hours, the speed is 15 km per hour. It can be seen in the table. Your time is x and speed is y. You will notice that as x increases, y decreases. Also, when we multiply x and y, we get the same values. So we have 1 times 60 is 60. 2 times 30 is 60. 3 times 20 is 60. And 4 times 15 is 60. So 60 is called the constant of variation. This can be shown also using the formula of inverse variation xy equals k. When x equals 1 and y equals 60, we have k equals 60. When x equals 2 and y is 30, k is 60. And so on until when x is 4 and y is 15, k equals 60. Since k is 60, we can substitute this into our equation xy equals k. We now have xy equals 60. We can also show inverse variation through graphs. We plot the points from the table in the Cartesian plane. The graph expresses inverse variation because when the values of x increases, the values of y decreases. The graph is a curve and it drops towards x-axis. Also, when we multiply x and y coordinates, we get equal products and that is 60. This is called the constant of variation. Let's have examples. If y varies inversely as x, and y is equal to 10 when x is equal to 5. Find y when x is equal to 25. It says y varies inversely as x. Our equation is xy is equal to k. Another, it says y is equal to 10 when x is equal to 5. We will substitute these values to the equation. So, we have x is 5 and y is 10. We multiply these two. We have k is equal to 50. The new equation now is xy is equal to 50. And the last clause is find y when x is equal to 25. We substitute x by 25 and we solve y. We have 25y is equal to 50. We divide both sides by 25. We now have y is equal to 2. This is the final answer. Example number 2. The number of days needed to repaint a building varies inversely as the number of persons working. It takes 10 days for two persons to repaint the building. How many persons are needed to finish the job in four days? We'll let the number of days be y and the number of persons be x. The number of days y varies inversely as the number of persons x. 
So our equation now, y is equal to k over x or xy is equal to k. We have this table of values, x for the number of persons and y for the number of days. When x is 2, y is 10 and x is unknown when y is 4. Since we have inverse variation, we will use this formula y equals to k over x or xy is equal to k. And uh, we begin by looking for the value of k. And we will use the value of x and y to solve for k. So we have x equals 2 and y equals 10. We substitute these values to the equation. 2 times 10 is 20. Now our k is 20. The new equation now is xy is equal to 20. Now x is unknown when y is equal to 4. We are going to solve for x using this new formula. And we substitute this y. So we have xy is equal to 20. x times 4 is equal to 20. Divide both sides by 4. We have x is equal to 5. This is our answer. 5 means 5 persons are needed to finish the job in 4 days.